India and women are linked by geography, history, culture and enjoy warm and cordial relationship. While the people to people contact between the India and the women can be traced back 5000 years ago. Indian businessmen in those days used the women to trade with other Middle Eastern countries. India and the women established the diplomatic relationship in 1955 and relationship was upgraded to strategic partnership in 2008. Now, after a gap of three years, India and the Oman will initiate the series of the high-level defense engagement between two countries next month. This topic is basically related to India and the Oman relationship in defense and the strategic partnerships. We will going to discuss the how the India and the Oman countering the China's in the Indian Ocean regions and how they are cooperating to each other to counter the piracy in that regions. The defense engagements will come to under Joint Military Cooperation Committee. During the visit of the Mohammed Nasir Al Zabi, the Secretary General Ministry of Defense of Oman, the reason behind the strategic meeting will going to bolster the, both the country's military presence amid the China's rising ambitions in the Indian Ocean region. The Joint Military Cooperation Committee is the highest forum of engagement between India and Oman in the field of the defense that evaluates and provides the guidance to overall framework of defense exchanges between the two sides. The Oman will also explore the possible opportunities for the defense procurement from India and they are also looking for the joint productions of the some defense goods. Because the India has recently sold the BrahMos missile system to the Philippines and India has also sold the HAL Dhruv MK3, the reconnaissance helicopter to the Mauritius. So Oman has got interested in the Indian defense goods because Indian defense goods are cheap and the reliable. That is why the Oman is interested and Oman is trying to talk are trying to deal with the defense agreements with India as they are very good friends of India. There are more talks to follow because Oman is the only country in the region with which all three services of India conduct the regular bilateral exercise and staff talks. India's defense engagement with the Gulf region has significantly expanded in the last few years. Last few years, I mean from the 2014 when the Prime Minister Narendra Modi came to end power from then on the defense relations and the other relations other engagements with the Middle Eastern countries including the women actually increased. Women remains the India's closest defense partner in the regions. Both the Air Force and the Navy undertake the staff talks on the regular basis which has been the catalyst for the new areas of cooperation. The two armies are also scheduled to commence staff talks in the near future. In February, Indian Navy Chief and Oman Navy Chief will conclude back-to-back -back visit to their respective countries and a bilateral Air Force exercise will be held in Jodhpur, Rajasthan. In countering the China in Indian Ocean region and Arabian Sea, Oman is playing a very significant role. And Oman is also helping the India in countering the anti-piracy operation in the Gulf of Aden. The defense exchanges between two countries are guided by framework memorandum of understanding, which was renewed in 2021. Indian Navy has also deployed its P-8I long-range maritime surveillance aircraft for anti-piracy patrol sorties from Salah in Oman on few occasions. Indian Navy and Air Force extending the reach and the operations throughout the regions of the women because women is, in very, women is in very strategic positions in the Gulf countries and it has very important strategic assets within its, within its, within its geographical regions. India has recently took the Dukam port from women to develop it into, an, into the region's largest port. And India will going to use it, use it the China string of pearls policy, use it against the China string of pearl policy, because China has actually came up with a string of pearls policy 
to capture the some of the port and some of the strategic strategic airports in the indian ocean region to counter the india's influence in the indian ocean region that is why india took over the dukam port to counter the chinese influence in the indian ocean region the china have gwadar port in pakistan so the india to counter the china already built the chabahar in iran and now the india is building the dukam port in oman indian navy will going to use the dukam port for the logistic and the support the port will going to allow the indian navy to sustain the long term operations because the india between the distance between the india and the oman is is comparatively very less to the comparisons to the other other gulf countries so to counter the china in gwadar that is why the india came up with an strategy to counter the chinese gwadar with the dukam in oman and also india have chabahar to do the business with the central asian region according to me it is very important for the india and the other countries in this region to counter the china's presence because chinese are actually not trying to trying to do the business in that region they are they are trying to do the business but they are trying to influence influence the internal politics of the countries of various countries they are trying to influence the sri lankan internal politics pakistan internal politics seychelles internal politics and the other countries internal politics by 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 changing the internal politics within the country they are trying to gain the influence in those countries that is why all the countries in that regions have to counter the china's presence because china is trying to make the indian ocean as the colony of theirs like they are trying to show their dominance in the south china sea region Indi- india is trying to ca- counter the china's dominance in the south china sea by using the indian ocean region because china have a very choke point in the malacca strait if india can control the malacca strait then the chinese businesses chinese port or the transport throughout the seaport will going to hampered that is why india is trying to do india will not going to hamper the chinese businesses but if the china will going to hamper the chi- indian businesses then india have to take the de- a substantive decisions india is playing a vital role in this region to counter the china china already captured the sri lanka's hambantota port for 99 years so to counter the china in the indian ocean region india signed a deal for the trincomalee oil tanker with sri lanka india built the radar station in seychelles and the mauritius as i said the india is also taking the responsibility of the oman dukam ports to counter the china's presence in djibouti djibouti is a country in africa where china recently have built an port port of using 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 to influence that regions using to influence the gulf regions because china's most of the oil china import most of the oils from the gulf regions to so to influence the gulf regions countries they have built then port in djibouti so the upper hand on the geopolitics and the geo strategy it is very important for the countries like india and the women coming together that is why these countries has came to understand the chinese businesses and the chinese policy of doing businesses in that indian ocean region that is why they come close now the question part the first question is which is the largest gulf in the world the first option is gulf of alaska the second option is gulf of oman third option is gulf of mexico fourth option is persian gulf the second question is which is the largest bay in the world in terms of area first option is hudson bay second option is bay of bengal third option is manila bay fourth option is galveston bay thank you very much thank you for your attention